I figured out what causes an ex to change their mind after a breakup. And in today's video, well, we're gonna be talking about exactly how you can weaponize this information for your own benefit. So let's start by talking about something extremely controversial. I think this question is framed the wrong way. This question should be more about changing your ex's confirmation bias as opposed to changing their mind. After all, their confirmation bias about you after the breakup is what often creates their beliefs that you kind of have to overcome. But first we should probably talk about if exes are even capable of change. Now my relationship with change is a difficult one. My father was actually the top human resources manager for McDonald's in all of the Houston area. And I think his thoughts on change profoundly shaped my thoughts on change. So for example, uh, literally there was one day he came home after work and was telling us a crazy story about someone who got caught stealing in the McDonald's area. And of course I asked him, well, do you think that person can change? His response uh, was interesting. He basically argued that over the short term, yes, a person can change, but it's been his experience that over time, left to their own devices, that particular person will eventually fall back into their old beliefs or their old patterns. But is this statistically correct? Well, I actually stumbled across some really interesting research by Steve Rose, who, a, who is a PhD who's also an addiction recovery counselor. So he basically wrote that when asked if people change, the simple answer is yes. Research shows that 40 to 60% of individuals in recovery from addiction will actually relapse. And although relapse is a normal part of recovery, most people can find long-term recovery even after several relapses. So what's fascinating about this is that both my dad and Steve Rose here are correct. With my dad finding that people in his work would often fall back into their old ways, it's a little like someone who's going through an addiction recovery is relapsing. But my dad was wrong about one thing. This is considered a normal part of the process. In the business world, you catch someone stealing from you, you guess what, you fire them, you get rid of them. They're never given a second chance to change their behaviors. But given enough care and time and work, people can change. So now that we know that your ex is capable of change, barring a few relapses here or there, the question now becomes, well, how do you overcome your ex's confirmation bias? I actually want you to listen to this quote from the BBC with regards to battling against confirmation bias. So for decades, research on confirmation bias has shown that we are more likely to look out for, notice, and remember anything that confirms opinions that we already hold. So if you like drinking wine, you're more likely to remember the occasional studies from which you find a benefit from alcohol than the research on its risks. This is especially relevant to breakups because believe it or not, most of the clients that I am dealing with, their ex has a confirmation bias about them. And usually it's a combination of the following things. Number one, they believe that because they broke up with you, you want them back. And they are better than you because you want them back. This is ultimately the confirmation bias that you're having to overcome. And it's actually exacerbated by attachment styles. For example, we've polled our community and we know that most of our clients have an anxious preoccupied attachment style. While most of their exes we've polled have been found to be dismissive avoidant attachment styles. So you have our client, the anxious attachment, and you have their ex that they're trying to get back, the dismissive avoidant. So when a breakup ultimately occurs, what does the anxious client do? Well, they're going to try to fix the situation as much as possible. And sometimes fixing the situation can lead to begging for an ex back, trying too hard, and it creates and reinforces the confirmation bias that the ex already has. And ultimately the ex is just constantly thinking, oh, they want me back. So really the best way to change an ex's mind revolves around shifting their paradigm and their ultimate belief system about you and your intentions. All right, so shifting the paradigm. I've talked a lot about this on the podcast, the YouTube channel, articles. It's one of my favorite things to do. I've gotten so crazy with it that I've actually created a formula for which 
you can do it. So here's the quick formula. First, you identify the belief or the confirmation bias that your ex has. Second, you're going to dramatically prove it's wrong in some way. The key word there being dramatically. And of course, if you do those things, guess what? You have shifted the paradigm. It's obviously very simple to read out, but here's the thing, it's hard to execute. So statistically speaking, your ex is probably a dismissive avoidant. Now, if you haven't watched many of my videos on dismissive avoidance, I highly recommend that you go to YouTube and watch my video on this is what happens when you stop chasing an avoidant. Probably one of our most popular avoidant videos, but you'll find in there an interesting piece or tidbit of information about dismissive avoidance. Basically, I make the argument that avoidance are free to long for an ex once that person is unavailable out of a relationship and typically out of contact so they are untouched by the actual engagement and their deactivation systems aren't triggered. You actually get over your ex, it makes them feel safer and allows them the opportunity to finally miss you. Why this is relevant is because it's literally combating the confirmation bias that your ex has towards you. So by moving on, your ex's confirmation bias shifts from, oh, they want me back, I need to retreat, to, oh good, they don't want me back. Now I'm safe to reflect on the relationship. And we have seen this time after time after time with our success stories. But the key point here is you have to shift the paradigm dramatically. And that's not always an easy thing to do. So here are the most common beliefs that your ex is likely to think about you or confirmation biases that your ex is actually going to have about you after a breakup. They're going to say, well, I'm better than them because I broke up with them. They're gonna think, well, I'm winning the breakup. They're also gonna think, well, they want me back. And then they're gonna think, well, they're gonna beg for me back. So now you have to basically dramatically prove that these thoughts are wrong in some way, shape or form. And this is actually something that I've been recommending to the men and women of our community, and it can be a little bit scary to do. But then you can argue that anything dramatic is going to be a scary step to take. You actually need to friend zone your ex. No, you need to go beyond friend zoning your ex. You actually need to call your ex or treat your ex like a brother or sister and tell them that. So with dismissive avoidance, oftentimes it's hard to get them to open up to you until you do this. So often what you'll have to do is basically treat them or call them a little brother or a little sister or a big brother or a big sister. And then all of a sudden they're shifting the way they're looking at your relationship. So doing this can accomplish two things. One, they stop thinking you want them back. And two, they start calling into question your entire relationship together. You see, what you're really doing is you're speaking the language of an avoidant without them even realizing that you know it. By setting this boundary, by literally saying that they are the big brother or they are the little sister, you can actually help them trigger nostalgic reverie because what you're doing is you're creating a scenario where they feel comfortable looking back on the relationship because they don't think you want them back anymore. And this is the secret that no one tells you about changing your ex's mind.